I've compiled a nice long list of 100 of my favorite Minecraft Survival Island seeds that I've shared over time on my channel. To make things easy for you, all seeds will be listed on a blog post that I'll have linked in the comments with screenshots, the seed number, and coordinates to everything shown in this video. And as a reminder, I play on Java Edition, so seeds are recorded on there. Despite parity between versions, seeds will be a bit different on Bedrock Edition, and structures will not be there on Bedrock, unfortunately. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you find your next Survival Island seed. I think this seed is almost a perfect example of a classic Survival Island in modern Minecraft. I mean, this is pretty much exactly what I hoped to find when making a video about Survival Island seeds. Just a small island with one tree. I guess the only thing that you could say is missing is a bit of gravel and sugarcane. Well, that's doing some nitpicking for sure. It's just a great classic survival island in modern Minecraft. Stay tuned because later in the video, I have a seed that to me is a perfect survival island. This seed has some cliffs with openings leading to huge caves. The caves almost make the island seem hollow. The caves even extend from one side of the island to the other. If I light up the cave a bit, you can see how big it is. The cave goes down to the deep dark. This spot looks really cool. I really can't get over how incredible these cliffs look. Such a cool seed. This Minecraft seed generates with twin islands at spawn. The islands are split with a stream of water between them. The spawn island has a bit of a small section of forest and then a bigger section of stony shores. The other island has a bigger section of forest and stony shores too. Just a really cool Minecraft seed with a lot of potential for builds, playing on with friends or whatever you choose to use it for. Let me know which of the islands would you prefer to claim as yours. This is easily one of my favorite seeds in this video. It just looks so cool. It's a dark forest island that kind of progressively elevates higher. And this side has some cliffs with lush cave sections mixed in. So this side looks pretty awesome too. The mansion is kind of just nestled into the bottom of the island. It kind of just looks like it belongs there. It looks pretty cool. And then this is underneath the island. Ancient cities are great. Lush ancient cities are even better. It's just neat knowing this is under the island. And all of that is why this is one of my favorite seeds in this video. Here's just a tiny forest island. Just another one of those small islands. We've got two types of trees, some grass and some sand. There are a few ocean biome islands nearby. Aside from that, just an isolated island in a big ocean. So yeah, that's just one more small island for people looking for more of a classic type of survival island. Since the Caves and Cliffs update, some of my favorite Minecraft seasons to find are these cliff islands with lush caves. They just look so cool. The colors of the Badlands biomes make this one even better. Even the non-lush cave sides look really cool. And the biome causes mine shafts to generate on the cliff sides too, which is really cool. Just such an awesome Minecraft seed to find. You want to know one more way to make a cherry grove village better? Or at least more rare? Well, make it an abandoned zombie village. And then put it on an island. Yeah, this is a cherry grove zombie village island seed. I've mentioned how annoying cherry grove islands are to find. So finding this one was pretty exciting. The island is split between a plains biome, a forest, a stony shore, a small section of frozen peaks and snowy slopes, and the cherry grove. The village is pretty solid too. It has two cartographer buildings, a shepherd's house, a mason's house, a tannery, and a library. There are 13 total buildings. This is probably my favorite cherry grove island seed I've ever found. This seed has an island that's mostly stony shores and a small section of jungle. If you want to live on a rock, but have access to a jungle, I guess this is the Minecraft seed for you. This forest island is really big. A portion of it is birch forest, but most of it is just regular forest biome. The island is about 575 blocks or so wide. So if you're just looking for a big island with lots of trees, here you go. If you're looking for a Minecraft island seed that has a decent amount of space for a build, well, here you go. It's a plains biome, so it's fairly flat. There's some trees on the island to get you started if you're playing survival. I chose so many small island seeds, so this gives some variety. Like I said, decent for somebody who wants some extra space. I want to confuse people who get to this video, so go to the comments right now and leave a comment that just says potato. You can leave another comment with Minecraft seeds you'd like for me to share in the future, 
but I want a bunch of comments saying potato so people are confused until they see this part of the video. We'll be seeing a few of these ocean villages today. I show a lot of ocean village seeds and this one isn't much different than the rest. Just a plains variant village that generates in the middle of a cold ocean. It has a library, two churches, a cartographer, and a blacksmith. There's some icebergs off in the distance over there with a monument in front. So yeah, that's that one. This Minecraft seed is just incredible. It's actually a Stony Peaks Island with a section of bamboo jungle on it too. Then of course we have the cliffs. The jungle vines and such on this side look awesome. This side is kind of short with it being stony shores. We see a little cave entrance on this side, but this side is the reason why this seed is just incredible. That big lush cave opening looks so cool. The lush cave itself looks great. It's kind of multi-layered, has a few pillars, just really cool. This is such an awesome island seed. That lush cave cliff is just great. I found this seed with a super tiny island at spawn. A real throwback type of Minecraft island seed. When I do searches for island seeds, this is the type of seed I try to find, but it isn't always that easy. A small piece of land, some trees, an ocean monument in the distance, a mushroom biome in the distance, almost the perfect survival island to me. This island looks pretty cold. It's a snowy taiga island surrounded by icebergs of a frozen ocean. With the snow on the island, it fits right in with the icy ocean. I had a bunch of polar bears around the area. Sometimes I find islands that are in frozen oceans and the biomes don't really fit in with the cold looking area, so this works really well. We are going to the basics with this jungle island. Well, if you consider a bamboo jungle the basics. There are a few scattered islands over there and a shipwreck too. An island right there next to an ocean ruin too. This azalea tree lets you know that there are some lush caves underground that you can explore. A quaint little jungle island hut could look great here. Let's stay on that different biome theme and check out a jungle island now. These are fairly popular, I've shown a bunch of them. In fact, I made a whole video about them. There's a mushroom biome over there, there's an ocean monument nearby, but not much else I need to say about it. Just one more biome option for an island seed. I've shown a couple of these big flat plains island seeds before. Always a great little seed to play survival on, with some decent area for a base before having to expand. This one has a zombie village on it, and it even has a blacksmith building. Kind of a cool little addition to an otherwise pretty basic Minecraft seed. I like to refer to Minecraft seeds like this as modern classic survival islands. That's because rather than a beach with sand, it generates with stone from the stony shore. Despite the stone beach biome being in Minecraft since 1.7.2 and it being renamed to Stone Shore in 1.13, the stony shore biome didn't become what we know it as today until Minecraft 1.18. Looking at the island from this side just makes it look like an old Minecraft island. So yeah, I think this just makes Minecraft islands just slightly different, but sometimes that's all we need. This island has a village stretching across it. I mean, I show a decent amount of island villages, so that's nothing too special. I do like that the island has a lot of space on it though, so that's nice. But the reason I really like this seed is because the village has three church buildings. There's a blacksmith too, so that's just a really great village. The fact that it's on an island is even better. There's another island close by with a ruined portal on it too, so that makes the seed even better. Just a really great Minecraft island seed. I'm going to call this a rock island. Not the rock as in Dwayne Johnson, but a rock as in stone. The majority of this island is just a stony shores biome sticking out of the ocean about 6 or 7 blocks high. On the eastern side of the island is just a small plains biome and a super tiny sparse jungle biome only like 3 blocks wide. That's why this little jungle tree generates here on Java Edition. On Bedrock Edition, there isn't any trees. All around the island is warm ocean with a few tiny islands popping up, a ruined portal, some ocean monuments, and a shipwreck in the distance. But yeah, that's a rock island seed. This video is sponsored by me. Well, kind of. I just want to say that I created a mod pack that's on Modrinth now that has the mods I use for Neoforge to create my videos. If you want to try them out or just want your game to look like mine, go check it out and download it on the Modrinth launcher. I show ocean villages so often at this point, 
that I forget to just show a classic island village scene. So that's what this is, a plains and beach island with a village on it. Only a small portion goes into the ocean. Most of it just generates right on that plains biome. Just an island village seed. I'll never get tired of finding Minecraft seeds like this. Cliffs just jutting out of the ocean just look really awesome. I usually like to find cliff islands that have space to build to, so this isn't quite that, but it still looks pretty cool. And it even has a temple on the cliff side here. Just a really cool Minecraft seed. And now I have just a classic flat survival island Minecraft seed. I mean, this is just awesome. It's not quite isolated. There's another island with one tree over there and a mushroom island behind it. But I mean, it's still awesome. I'm always on the search for what I consider to be the perfect classic survival island in modern Minecraft, and this one is pretty close. Just a really awesome small island seed. Perfect for a throwback survival island playthrough. This is just a fairly big plains island seed. The island has a few trees. It has a pumpkin patch. I had sheep spawn along with other animals too. Over there, we have some icebergs with an ocean monument right in front. With the size of the island, there's some decent room to build. Maybe like a McDonald's or something. Pretty decent island seed. Are you looking to play Minecraft with a friend? Maybe try out this seed with two islands. The bigger island is mostly sparse jungle and stony shores. There's a small section of plains biome too. There's a crater on this island. The smaller island is all jungle and stony shores. I like the look of this water ravine cutting into the island. There's an island nearby with an ocean ruin on it too. It's actually still an ocean biome. Sometimes Minecraft will generate land like this with it still being considered ocean. So I guess my questions are, which island are you choosing? And do you work together with your friend or do you have a little competition to see who can build up their island quicker? What's better than one island village? Two island villages. In this seed, we spawn on this plains and stony shores island. The village generates right across the middle of it. The village has seven buildings and a few farms. Northeast, there's another island village. This island is all plains biome. This one has 10 buildings and a few farms. A seed with two island villages so close to each other is just really awesome. I have received plenty of comments like these asking to find an archipelago. And if you don't know, that's just a fancy word for a collection of islands. In real life, they look like this, or this, or this. Or even easier, the Philippines is an archipelago made up of 7,641 islands. So there's a little lesson for you on archipelagos. And here I have this Minecraft seed that's not quite a large group of islands like the Philippines, because there's only five of these big islands and some small islands over there. But I mean, this is good enough, right? This is Minecraft after all. Trying to go through all of these seeds on Qbomb's viewer for this one felt like a task I didn't want to do if I'm being completely honest. I just prefer to look for something else. So I'm settling for this group of five biome diverse islands. Maybe not enough islands to be considered an archipelago. Maybe it is. I don't know. You can just call it whatever you want. It's a good seed to play on with friends or build on different islands. If we're looking down here, it looks like the seed is just a sparse jungle island. But then we look up and see this. I mean, this is just absurd. Just the smallest piece of windswept terrain can make any area in Minecraft look crazy. I mean, what else is there to really say about it other than it's just a crazy Minecraft seed? I immediately saw some turtles when I spawned into this Minecraft world. But this being a turtle beach isn't really the reason I wanted to share this seed. I just think this is a really unique looking island. Just a beach with only a small section of grass and one tree. There's even some lava here and some sugarcane too. There's a mushroom island off in the distance. So you have everything you need to play a traditional survival island experience. But the way the island is generated makes it a bit more unique than usual. Cliff islands are always cool, but this one is a bit different. There's a huge cave at the bottom. The island looks like it's being held up by these natural stone pillars. Somebody out there who's a lot better at building in Minecraft could probably come up with a way to implement this into a build. Do you have any ideas on what could be built around this island and cave? If you're wondering how I find Minecraft seeds, I mostly use a seed searching tool called Qbombs Viewer. For members of my channel, I create tutorials on how I use it and provide the search conditions 
for members to do searches for their own seeds. Members also get other perks like seeing videos early and access to emotes. If you want to help me out a bit, consider becoming a channel member. But really, subscribing, commenting, and following on my socials, or just watching my videos, are other ways that help me out too. I really do appreciate all the support you all give me, thank you so much. This is probably my favorite Minecraft Pale Garden seed I've found so far. I really like islands, so finding a Pale Garden island was at the top of my list of seeds to find. Just seeing the gray of the Pale Garden in the middle of the island looks really cool. It just really stands out with it being surrounded by the green of the dark forest. My favorite part of this seed is this ravine thing cutting into the pale garden here. The pale oak trees being above the lush cave just look really cool, and I really like the look of the lakes too. You can even get a look at the dull watercolor in a pale garden too. At some point I'll hopefully find a smaller island, but for now this big island will do, and I'm definitely not complaining about that because this is a really cool Minecraft seed. When you spawn into this world, you think it's just this island village. That in itself is pretty awesome, and I wouldn't hesitate to show this seed in a video on its own. There's even a shipwreck over near that little beach. But looking southwest, we can see there's actually another island village. This one has a shipwreck right next to it too, and it has a blacksmith too. The water cutting off like this is pretty cool. It's pretty awesome having two island villages so close to each other. What about a modern classic survival island seed? It's classic because it's just a small survival island. It's modern because rather than a beach, there's a stony shore. Just a small island in the ocean. About what you hope to find when looking for survival island seeds in Minecraft these days. This looks like a typical jungle island seed. When searching for jungle islands, this is pretty much what I think I'll find. But look over there. Yeah, there's a mushroom island super close by. And underneath this spot in the ocean, there's a trial chamber. So this gives you something to look forward to completing after progressing on the jungle island. At first glance, it seems like any old jungle island, but there's definitely more to it after looking around. While searching for seeds for my recent survival island seeds video, I stumbled across this seed. It didn't make it into that video, but I still wanted to feature it on my channel. The seed has twin islands at spawn, and they both have villages on them, and they're surrounded by frozen ocean icebergs. The terrain here on the spawn island looks really cool. The village on this one stretches into the frozen ocean and onto the other island. It has 13 total buildings and three farms. The second island has a small crater and a waterfall. The village generates completely on the island. It has 10 buildings, including a blacksmith building. Snowy style blacksmith buildings are one of my favorite village buildings. There are many ocean monuments around the spawn area, but this one is really close by, and it comes with ocean ruins on it. Just a really cool spot that I wanted to mention. And the final thing I want to mention is that there are mushroom islands close by too. You can see that with the pinkish sections on the map. Here's the one closest to the spawn islands. Since it's a pretty small island, you can explore to find a bigger one if you want to. So yeah, that's a twin snowy village island seed. This is a jungle temple island seed. It's actually a bamboo jungle island too, which gets bonus points for me. I really like the look of bamboo jungle biomes. Plus, I like the slightly better odds at getting a panda to spawn. The temple is on the northern side of the island. It's surrounded by bamboo. There are two chests with loot inside as usual. There you have a bamboo jungle temple seed. This is simply a jungle island seed. There's not even a beach on the island or stony shores or anything like that. Just a jungle island in the middle of an ocean. The island has small cliffs and there's this little cave here too. I found this lush cave underground. This looks absolutely incredible. Lush caves are one feature in Minecraft I never get tired of finding. I also found this trial chamber underground. The first room has some lush cave bits in it, but unfortunately, that's the only room with parts of lush cave. Whether you decide to live on the island, or maybe build inside of the little cave, or maybe even underground in that lush cave, this jungle island seed has a lot of potential for being a fun Minecraft world. You've managed to crash your ship here, and now you're stranded on this island. You can build with the ugly orange wood from the acacia trees, or you can utilize the few oak trees for more traditional wood colors. Maybe you can find some type of use for this little lagoon type area. 
I don't know what your plans are for surviving while stranded on this Minecraft island, but it should be a fun journey no matter what. This seed looks like it has a collection of islands around spawn, with the two forest islands being the main two. But this spot right here is actually connected by a mini land bridge. The trees generating down below the water level look pretty cool, and this spot looks like it was at one point going to be an arch, but didn't quite generate that way. I don't know, just thought this was kind of a pretty cool seed. This island has a spawn on a bamboo jungle hill. This side of the island has small cliffs. This side has some taller cliffs. We can find some pieces of lush cave along the cliffside. The terrain is tall enough that there was snow on this cliffside tree. It's not an isolated island, unfortunately. I'd have to really lower my render distance to not see the land nearby. I still think this is an awesome island though. I think it's definitely one worth seeing. This is the final little intermission I'll have in this video, but I'm close to 20,000 followers on Instagram, so if you have Instagram, it'd be awesome if you follow me there. Instagram and threads are the two places I'm most active aside from here on YouTube. I post updates there quite often on video progress and upcoming videos. All of my socials can be found linked in the description or on my about page. Thanks for following and enjoy the rest of the video. This is just a big forest island. Lots of trees, lots of land. But over here on the beach, there's a shipwreck. So that adds something cool to this island. There's also this big cave opening here and another one here. They connect to each other and they lead all the way down to a deep state level. So that's a shipwreck island seed. This seed has a taiga island village right at spawn. As I continue over past this beach spot, we get over to a pillager outpost. There's also some ocean ruins above the water right there too. If it wasn't for the beach connecting them, these would be two separate islands with structures. I can't decide if I like it better that it's one island or if I'd like them better as separate islands. Either way, I think this is a really cool looking Minecraft seed. Let's take a classic survival island and change it up ever so slightly. We've got a beach here, and then this grass section is actually a sparse jungle, but the tree that generates is still an oak tree. There are a few scattered islands over there, but aside from that, we just have an ocean all around. So close to being a typical survival island, but that sparse jungle makes it a bit different. I've shared so many videos with survival island seeds, and over that time, shipwreck islands have become a personal favorite of mine. It just makes it so that you can load into a Minecraft world and feel like you have a theme or something. The shipwreck makes it feel like you crashed and got stuck on a deserted island. And looking around and seeing only ocean around really solidifies that feeling. I'll also say that I really like that this is a dark forest biome too. It gives a few different tree types and some giant mushrooms too. Plus it just has a different vibe than being like a typical plains island or something. So if you're looking to play Minecraft survival while stranded on an island, this is a great seed to do so. The terrain in this Minecraft seed is really odd. Usually when I come across an island on a map like this, I expect it to just be a pretty standard looking small island. However, I noticed the gray spot on the map when zooming in. So instead, I found this odd generation for this one because the gray spot was windswept hills. I just need to mention that the icebergs nearby are great too, there's even a mushroom island back there too. So for this, I ask you, on something like this, what exactly do you build here? Obviously, you could terraform the area or whatever, but if you didn't, how would you use the terrain in a build? We have a desert temple island here. It's a desert island, but don't worry, it comes with a couple of azalea trees and a small section of jungle. This means at least you have trees and grass. Azalea trees indicate lush caves. None that I necessarily want to showcase, so you can explore those if you want. The temple is located on the northern side of the island. It's close to the ocean. Four chests at the bottom with loot as always. So yeah, that's a desert temple island seed that is actually viable to live on. This Minecraft seed just looks like a boulder sticking out of the ocean with some trees on top. Cliff islands always look cool, but I think these smaller sized ones are really cool. Like I said, just a boulder or rock jetting out of the ocean. The island is a taiga biome, there are some icebergs nearby, and the waterfalls on the island look pretty awesome. Just a really cool looking Minecraft island. This Minecraft island generates near a frozen ocean. The icebergs provide a pretty cool backdrop to the island. The island is split between a forest and stony shores. I even had some copper ore and iron ore generating on the surface. This little spot looks pretty cool here. 
Pretty cool island with the icebergs right next to it. We have a desert island village here, but it also has a desert temple too. I really like desert temple villages, so having this one on an island is just really awesome. Just a really cool spawn for this seed. Underground there's a trial chamber, and this spot perfectly connects to a spawner dungeon. Kind of cool how it looks pretty much like they seamlessly connect. So, like above ground with the two structures together, down underground we have two structures connecting with each other too. Alright, time to look at an island village Minecraft seed. Actually, it's been a while since I've shared one of these, for my standards at least. As a reminder, I play on Java Edition, so structures in this video will not be there on Bedrock Edition, but terrain should be close to the same except for things like trees. These are one type of Minecraft seed I'll never get tired of finding. This one has a village on a plains and stony shores island, and the village has a blacksmith church and a mason. There's some paths that stretch into the ocean, and there's some icebergs nearby too. Probably not the best island village I've ever shown, but it's still pretty awesome. This is a pretty interesting Minecraft seed. The spawn is on a small flat island with one tree, and then there's another tiny island next to it, just a couple of tiny islands in the middle of the ocean. You could play on this seed with a friend and see who expands their island quicker or something. I don't know, I just think it's cool seeing these two mini islands with nothing but ocean in sight. This seed has a spawn in a village, and there's a mountain range right over there. But if I fly up and zoom out enough, you'll see that this is actually an island. You can see the island of the map of this world too. A bit bigger of an island than I usually show, but I think that may just be a good thing. The mountains are obviously cool, and we get plenty of trees with the flower forest. But this plains area is a great place to start building right away. Just a really cool island seed. This seed generates an island that is split between a forest and stony shores biome. It's a pretty decently sized island, there's a lot of space for a nice building. Off in the distance in my 32 render distance there are some icebergs. Overall a decent island seed. This island here is a flower forest island. There's not really an overwhelming amount of flowers though. A lot of the island is flat right at water level. It has a lot of trees and this beach forms a hill. There's a little point in the terrain here going into the water. This side kind of gets squared off, and the island as a whole has a pretty interesting shape. That's a flower forest island. This island has three different tree types on it. We've got oak, birch, and taiga trees. There's also a frozen ocean nearby. This is a good option for somebody looking to play survival island, but also wants access to a few different wood types for building. Seeds like this are really cool. Just a castaway deserted island type feel. You can give some type of backstory to how this shipwreck ended up here and how you got stranded on the island or something. Just adds a different feeling to a typical survival island type playthrough. And that stranded island feeling is why I say that I think seeds like this are really cool. I have another pretty small island here. This one is split between a birch forest and a beach, almost perfectly divided between the two biomes. I like how it's just a hill that sits in the middle of the ocean. Just a decent island seed. Jungle Island temples are fantastic in my opinion. As a reminder, I record in Java edition. So legacy structures like the jungle temple will not be there on bedrock edition, but you will find similar terrain so you can still load into the world on this island. In this case, the island is split between a bamboo jungle and a dark forest. There's also some stony shores on the eastern coast of the island. What do you think the lore of how this jungle island temple was originally built on the island is? This is a cliff island seed, one of my favorite types of seeds to find. The island is split between a dark forest and jagged peaks biome. The lush cave on this one looks pretty wild. I mean, just some crazy looking terrain on this side of the island. I'm not sure how practical this would be to play survival on, but how would you approach that? Like, what would you build on the island? What approach would you take to surviving it be? I just thought it looked pretty cool, so I wanted to share it. I also just wanted to say that in the ocean, there's a spot with a ruined portal shipwreck and ocean monument all in the same spot, yet at the same time, they manage not to conflict with each other. A cool place to check out. And there's also a mushroom island not too far away from spawn. I like to know how close mushroom islands are in the ocean. Just nice knowing I don't have to travel far to find one. But yeah, there's a pretty awesome cliff island seed. 
Most of these ocean villages that I show are plains villages, and even some taiga villages. But how about one in a frozen ocean? Snowy villages are my favorite village variant because of the different building types. So I think this is just a really unique looking place to spawn into the world at. The village has a blacksmith, it has these floating buildings, it has a little iceberg conflicting here, and some paths go up the side of the icebergs. Just something a bit different. This isn't your standard island village seat. That's because this island generates with a big crater type thing here. It just looks pretty crazy. The island also generates some small cliffs. And I just want to point out that I think this one big tree here is pretty cool too. As for the village, well, the part on the land generates mostly in the stony shores biome. And of course, we have parts of it generate out into the ocean. It has a cartographer and a fletcher. So there's an island village seed that is a bit different than what we usually see. This is a cliff island seed. Since the changes to Minecraft terrain in the caves and cliffs update, cliff islands have always been a standout type of seed. The island is divided between a small jungle, a super tiny section of jagged peaks, and a dark forest. There are pieces of lush cave on the cliff side. This spot here with the island being held up by a natural pillar looks pretty cool. The jungle going down the cliff side looks cool too. I guess I could say the same about these mushrooms on the cliff side too. I also like this spot that sticks up with the jungle tree at the top. Now that brings me to my question. If you were to limit yourself to staying solely on this island, what would you build here? I think a Dunkin' Donuts would be perfect here. Cliff islands are even better when they have a village on them. I think the only thing I like better than a cliff island village is when cliff islands have caves on the side of them. This one is a savanna island. We get the typical paths going down the cliffside. We get the waterfalls from the farm water. And of course, the village down in the ocean at the bottom too. There's also this shipwreck over here on this little island. Looks pretty cool being above water like it is. Just a really cool Minecraft seed. This is a mini jungle island seed. Quite literally just a mini sparse jungle with a few scattered blocks around it like this one with a flower. It doesn't even have a tree, just this jungle bush. Keeping up with the mini island feel, there's a small mushroom island nearby. Just one of each mushroom variant on the small mushroom island. It's right next to an ocean monument. I don't know, the fact that both islands are super small is hilarious to me. This sea generates a birch forest island at spawn. I know that birch wood is everyone's favorite. I think that it's kind of cool that along with the stony shores, the beach generates into the middle of the island. The shape of the island is pretty cool. There's a tiny island sticking out in the ocean over there, and a shipwreck sticking out over there with an ocean monument behind it. For a birch forest, this seed isn't too bad. This island has one tree on it. Well, on bedrock edition, there are two trees, but that doesn't matter. I like the challenge of surviving on a single tree island. It makes it a bit of a grind. You need to strategize on how to play it. It's just a challenge you don't get with a seed with more trees. The island is a decent size and a fairly flat plains biome. So yeah, that's a one tree or two tree island seed. This jungle island seed looks really cool. There are two islands separated by a river biome. You can see the difference in water color between the river and the ocean. The island is made up of jungle and stony shores. There's water flowing through the island here with some really awesome looking natural arches. There's also a lush cave ravine on the island too. I really like the shape of this island. It's made up of sparse jungle, stony shores, and bamboo jungle. This little patch of bamboo jungle on the cape of the island is pretty awesome. I like this little water ravine too. What would you build on these islands? I find Cherry Grove Island seeds to be one of the most annoying seed types to find. Given that Cherry Grove biomes themselves can't be islands, they require a few more conditions to generate and find. But we have a pretty decent one here. It's a fairly big island with a Cherry Grove right in the middle. It looks pretty cool elevated with the plains biome around it. The patches of Sunflower Plains look pretty cool too. The pink and yellow adds some color to the island. So there's a Cherry Grove Island seed. And now we have a woodland mansion island. There's also a pretty awesome looking bamboo island nearby. Another option for building or living on. The cobblestone foundation of the mansion blending with the cliffs of the island looks pretty awesome. And I really like this side with the cliffside and terrain on the side of the mansion. 
There's some ocean ruins over here on the land, which is pretty cool. And over here is a ruined portal. So we get an extra island and we get extra structures to go with the mansion. I really like this seat. This is a forest island seat. It has plenty of trees for a fairly easy start while playing survival. While expansion is always possible, this island is a decent size already. You can easily set up a decent base on this island. It could be a pretty fun island to play survival mode on. Okay, so this is just a really cool Minecraft seed. We spawn on this island with a village, ruined portal, and a woodland mansion. There's also a few of these ocean biome islands scattered around too. The main island is made up of a section of beach, an old growth spruce taiga, and a big section of stony shores. The dark forest that generates the woodland mansion must be really small because there's no dark oak trees anywhere to be seen. This small patch of grass is the only part of the biome I can find. I like finding ruined portal villages. Throw in a mansion nearby and then put it on an island. I don't know man, just really awesome. This is pretty much what I hope to find when I do searches for island seeds. Just a tiny island with some trees, some sand, a bit of gravel, and some grass for wheat. I even had a sheep spawn with the world. Just a tiny survival island is all it is. There's another island over there if you want to play with a friend. This is one of those islands that is still ocean biome on the surface, so you don't see it on the map. But yeah, this is just a small forest island seed. This island has three different biomes. We get a birch forest, we get a beach, and we get a stony shores biome. Off in the distance, we can see various spots of mushroom biomes. Those pink spots on the map show all of the mushroom biomes around the spawn area. There's also an ocean monument right there. Pretty cool island seed. You will never hear me complain about a cliff island seed, especially with a village on it. The way this building generates is really cool, and whatever is happening here is Interesting. This wheat is growing on top of a source block from the village farms, which flows into a waterfall. The same thing happens here. These water source blocks haven't updated yet, so they're stuck like this. Seeds like this are always pretty cool. From this angle, this island almost has a heart shape to it. It's a pretty big jungle island. It even has a jungle temple on it. There's a warm ocean with a coral reef nearby. Most of the island has these short cliffs. It looked pretty cool. I really like how this spot looks just kind of floating over the water. The tallest cliffs are found here. They stretch up about Y140, which isn't the tallest we've seen, but still pretty cool. Cliff islands always look awesome. They're some of my favorite types of seas to do searches for just because they look really cool. This one is a dark forest island. This side has some shorter cliffs as the stony peak shores go up progressively, as opposed to just steep cliffs. Every other side just has tall cliffs. We get pieces of lush cave on the cliffs. I like the look of the waterfall going down this cliff side. I like how this spot looks right here. Cliff island seeds are always just really cool. This seed has a spawn on the side of a jungle hill. There's a river that divides the island into two. So we get this skinny part with a bamboo jungle and stony shores. And then the taller jungle hill part. And this side has some cliffs. But this is what really stood out to me. This big cave looks awesome. I wouldn't even build on the island. I'd build a basin here instead. This seed isn't meant to be one that you play survival on or anything like that. It's sometimes just fun to discover some cool or weird Minecraft seeds. And well, this is one of them. It's just a pillager outpost on a tiny island. I'm sure somebody could figure something out, but if I loaded into this seed randomly, I'd quickly say nope and start up a different world. This seed is even wilder when you realize there's an ocean monument right off the island. It's only 70-ish blocks from the outpost island. And then there's that small mushroom island over there too. So yeah, uh, there, there's that one. This ocean village is a taiga village. I find plenty of plains ocean villages, so a different variant is pretty nice to find. This one has 16 buildings. There's a frozen ocean nearby, there's a shipwreck right there, and an ocean monument over there. It's kind of cool how these outdoor blacksmiths line up with each other. Like this is the designated blacksmithing area of the village. I think this is a pretty cool Minecraft seed. This ocean village is a zombie village. Not much different than a typical plains ocean village, other than the fact that it's an abandoned zombie village variant. It has 10 buildings and three farms. I guess a seed like this could provide some type of lore to start off with or something for a themed playthrough. 
I finally found a classic One Tree Survival Island seed for modern Minecraft Java Edition versions. Lately, every time I find a small island like this, it has multiple trees or no trees. For example, on Bedrock Edition, this island has multiple trees, which shows you what I keep finding on Java Edition too. This island isn't perfect, there's no grass for seeds for example. So my search for the classic survival island will continue, but this one is pretty great. The grass section is a forest biome, the stone section is windswept gravelly hills. The sugarcane next to the tree is convenient. There's an ocean monument in the distance and another one over there. And there's lots of kelp throughout the ocean. So this isn't the perfect survival island seed I've been looking for, but it's pretty close. I've been working on finding seeds that look like a classic survival island seed but are in different biomes and plains, and that's what we have here with this one. It's a small savanna island. Honestly, savanna biomes aren't really a favorite of mine, but I still think it being an island is pretty cool. On Bedrock Edition, we also get that one tree on the island, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, just a small savanna island seed. I found this little dark forest island seed here. The tiny islands that I show are usually forest or plain style islands, so this mixes it up a bit. A nice chance to play survival island Minecraft, but on a different biome than usual. This island is split between stony shores and a forest, so we get a big section of stone and gravel, and a section of trees too. Some decent space for living and expanding the island too. Let's take a look at a dark forest cliff island seed. The seed generates around Y level 150. As a result, we get some pretty tall cliffs on the island. Along the cliffs, there are some lush cave spots. This is my favorite part of the seed, a big lush cave ravine that splits part of the island. Underneath the island is this ancient city. With the lush cave here, it looks incredible. This just adds on to how awesome the seed already is. This is just a really awesome looking Minecraft seed. This Minecraft seed feels like you're stranded on a deserted island. It's made up of sparse jungle and beach biomes. And the shipwreck here looks like it's been here for a while. It's been overgrown a bit by the sparse jungle. It may be low tide now, or it's just washed up further on the beach and the sand now surrounds most of it. Whatever happened here, it really has a true castaway island vibe. Just gonna call this a frozen island seat. I mean, I think you can see why. Just ice and snow all around. A decent option if that's the type of seed you're looking for. I have a cliff island seed here, but this one is a bit different than I normally show. There's a couple reasons for that, with the first being these ocean ruins that generate up here. Obviously not necessarily the most normal place for ocean ruins to be, but definitely a really cool spot for them. The rest of the ruins are down in the ocean. The other reason for this one being a bit different is the biome. Typically, these cliff islands are not plains variant biomes, in this case, sunflower plains. We usually see things like mountains, dark forest, or mesas, so this absolutely feels different. The biome just makes it look like a big rock sticking out of the ocean that's overgrown at the top. Just a really cool Minecraft seed. If you're wondering how I found this, I'll make a Cubom Viewer tutorial for my channel members. Here is a small modern classic survival island seed. There's actually another small island over there with trees, and another over there, and another over there too. So you could even play on this seed with a few friends who each have their own islands. But let's focus on this tiny spawn island. It's split between forest and stony shore, just a small island sticking out of the water. Basically the shape of an island I expect when finding a classic survival island seed. I like this seed a lot. Another ocean village here, the final plains ocean village that we'll see in this video. This one is in a regular ocean biome, it has 9 buildings and some farms. These are some of my favorite types of seeds to find, but there's only so much I can say about them. So yeah, that's an ocean village seed. I was looking for tall woodland mansion on island cliffs and instead I found this. The mansion has some height, but it isn't very tall. The island also has these mini cliffs, but not quite the type of cliff island I hope to find. This terrain though looks absolutely awesome. We get terrain on top of the mansion, we get little cliffs forming here, and this crazy looking terrain. And we get this narrow cliff forming down the corner of the mansion. This little spot near the entrance looks pretty cool too. So while not quite the cliff island mansion I was looking for, still a pretty cool Minecraft seed. 
This is a fairly basic island, a decent sized island comprised of plains and beach. As a couple trees, there's a frozen ocean nearby, it's a turtle spawn beach, all of that makes for a great island seed. If you're looking to play Minecraft with a friend, why not Survival Island? This seed has two islands that spawn and they're pretty close to being the same. The island you spawn on is an ocean biome island. It has one tree, some sand, and some gravel. The second island is pretty much the same thing. It just has a smaller tree, more sand, and this little bit of water. With the islands being so similar, you can see how much quicker or differently you progress than your friend. If you don't have any friends wanting to play Minecraft right now, well, now you got two islands, so that's awesome too. This Minecraft seed tells a bit of a story. This ship crashed into an iceberg Titanic style. It's right next to an island. You've already built an igloo here. So that's where we are at this point in the story. There are plenty of trees for you on the island. There's a trial chamber underground. So what's your plan to continue on the story of this island? And here is a classic Minecraft survival island seed. Easily one of my favorite Minecraft seeds to discover, despite it being more difficult as time goes on. Minecraft survival islands have a special place in my nostalgic heart, I guess. This one sticks out of the water about four blocks higher than the water level. It has three trees in both Java and Bedrock Edition. It comes with bits of sand and some grass for wheat. Just a classic survival island Minecraft seed. A ship crashed into this Minecraft island. Over time, it has been buried a bit by the beach sand. The island is made up of plains, beach, stony shores, and a small forest. The shipwreck gives a feeling of being stranded on the island. So, what's your plan for living on this island? This is a pretty big cliff island seed. A look at the map shows just how big this island is. The island has a pretty cool shape to it. This water cave area within the cliffs just looks absolutely awesome. Adding a village to the island is just really awesome. I love the look of cliffside villages. This one being on an island just makes it even better. This building is sticking out on top of the cliffs. Paths going down the cliffs always look cool. This building is on the cliffside. This building at the bottom is partly covered by the cliffs. We even get a blacksmith building generate in the ocean at the bottom. Seeds like this always just look awesome. The look of these lush cave cliff seeds always amaze me. Years ago, I would have never expected to see something like this in Minecraft generate naturally. But here we are, and I'm not complaining. This island is actually kind of split in two. I always like finding wooded badland islands. Adding cliffs makes them even better, and adding lush caves definitely makes them better. This might be my favorite tall woodland mansion island seed that I've ever personally discovered. The mansion is up at Y level 171, so it's pretty tall. Not the tallest mansion I've ever found, but it still looks cool. I think the reason I like this seed so much specifically is because of how small the roofed forest biome is. It just makes it so most of this area is just woodland mansion. Just such a cool mansion island, one of my favorites for sure. I've been on the search for a perfect survival island in modern Minecraft for a while now. I've just been looking for a tiny island with one tree in the middle of an ocean with nothing else in sight. It sounds simple, but with how Minecraft terrain generates now and my own pickiness, it's just not that easy. But honestly, to me, this seed right here is perfect. A flat island, one tree, some sand, some grass, the island just being an ocean biome and not a plains or anything like that. And looking around, all I can see is ocean. It checks all the boxes, it's just perfect. Could it have gravel? Yes. Could it have sugarcane? Yes. Would that make it any better? Honestly, I don't really care. After doing island searches over this time, this is what I was looking for. So for me, I guess the search doesn't end, but this is about as perfect a survival island can be. If you want to see more Minecraft island seeds, click the video on the left. YouTube will give you the video it thinks you'll like best on the right. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.